In this video clip, I will uh, show you how to perform simple linear regression in Excel. Simple linear regression is a statistical method that is performed uh, when you have two uh, set of data or variables. One of the variable is called a predictor or the independent variable or the explanatory variable. And the second one is the outcome or the response variable or the dependent variable. The uh, simple linear regression statistical method is performed when the data are parametric, which means that they are normally distributed. So the data has to follow normal distribution and it has to be checked for the assumptions of normality. The test was also performed to find out whether there is a relationship between the predictor and the outcome and whether the predictor can predict the outcome and can explain the variation in the outcome simple linear regression is performed when there is only one or single predictor to be analyzed uh, when there are more than one predictor then there is another method to perform that if you find this video useful do subscribe to the channel, leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. Here in this Excel sheet, I had inserted a data for a hundred cases or participant um, and the age has been determined for each individual and the systolic blood pressure was measured so here i have two variables the first variable is the age which is a continuous variable a scale variable and a systolic blood pressure which is also a continuous variable and it is a scale variable the systolic blood pressure is the outcome and the age is the predictor so the age is independent variable and the systolic blood pressure is the dependent variable to find out whether there is a relationship between age and systolic blood pressure whether an increase in age lead to increase in systolic blood pressure and whether there the age can predict uh, the systolic blood pressure and whether the age can explain the variation in the systolic blood pressure then a model has to be established and a uh, uh, simple linear regression method statistical method can be performed to fit a regression line to the data and generate a equation or a formula and determine the contribution of the age to the systolic blood pressure and the way to do uh, simple linear regression in excel is first of all to install the package for the uh, uh, data analysis and the way to do that if it is not installed in my case i had already installed the data analysis package to install it go for file click on file then click on more then click on options and in the options window click, click on adds in and in the adds in click and select this analysis tool pack and then click on ok i've already done that uh, um, previously so uh, here i have the icon already shown to do the uh, simple linear regression click on the data analysis icon uh, select from the list of tools here the regression after clicking on ok a new window appears and uh, for regression uh, to um, uh, uh, input the data for that window 
uh, the y range is the outcome so the y range the data for the y range which will be on the y axis is the data for the outcome which is uh, systolic blood pressure select that in and drag and insert that in this box and then to select the x axis which is the predictor or the independent variable which is the age click on that select and that will be selected here tick the labels keeping the labels for the variables uh, click on confidence interval click on residuals click on standardized residuals residuals plot line fit plot and normal probability plot and the output range uh, select the output to be let's say in this area and if I click on OK multiple uh, tables and uh, plots are generated the first table here is an important tables it shows the R square and the adjusted R squared value what does this value mean it means that uh, uh, 53 percent of the variation in the outcome can be explained by the age and since we have here um, uh, different scales of measurement then I will stick with the adjusted R square uh, I'll read I'll go for the adjusted R square which is 52.5 percent so that means that 52.5 percent uh, the age or the age contribute to the variation in the syst systolic blood pressure of 52.5 percent when the model is established and constructed the age has a contribution of 52.5 uh, percent to variation in the systolic blood pressure the second table is ANOVA table which is here have a p-value of less than 0.05 which is significant which means that the model is best fit for the data the third uh, table is important table as it has in it two values the coefficient for the intercept and the age what is important from this table is the coefficient for the age the uh, intercept is the value which is 86.2 when the age is equal to zero again the intercept is statistically significant as the p-value is less than 0.05 the age here the value is 1.09 so what does that mean it means that with every increase of one years there is an increase uh, of 1.09 in the systolic blood pressure i.e. the older you are the higher the systolic blood pressure this uh, uh, relationship or association uh, is positive and it is significant as the p-value is less than 0.05 so from this table and the table above and the, the one above also the age does contribute to the uh, variation in the systolic blood pressure and can explain the variation in the systolic blood pressure and with every year of increase of one year increase in uh, a person life the systolic blood pressure is increased by one point nearly 1.1 point other tables are generated for the residual output and the probability output and also a few scatter plot are generated normality uh, probable normal probability plot age uh, line fit plot and residual uh, or age residual plot so this is the way to perform simple linear regression in excel with a parametric data if you are a student or a researcher and you have a data whether it is um, um, quantitative or qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages. 
my contact details are given here so don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course.